You know, my 15 years of hard working out in the gym, if there's one body part that I found is a necessity to win any major professional or amateur bodybuilding contest, that body part is back. So join me, the Iron Warrior, in this month's Vallejo workout, in one of the most brutal, excruciating workouts you've ever been through. Come on, let's pump iron. Before starting my massive back routine, it's always a good idea to first warm up the muscle groups to be used. An excellent exercise for warming up the entire back is that old stable chin up. Starting from a full stretch position, I pull myself as smoothly and cleanly as possible all the way up to the top bar, letting it hit just below my neck. Even though this is a warm up exercise, technique is still extremely important. Remember to get a full stretch at the bottom of the movement and complete contraction at the top for maximum benefit. I do four sets of eight smooth reps. The next exercise is bent over rows. This is a main mass building movement for my back and I prefer to stand on a block to get that extra stretch. Using a wide grip, I pull the bar just below my sternum, remembering to squeeze that second to get that complete contraction. This one hits your entire back and is a great for thickness and density that you need on stage. As for all back exercises, technique is the key. Do four sets of eight and watch those lats flare out. Moving on, my next exercise is seated rows. For this movement, I prefer a close grip which helps keep my elbows tucked in close to my body. This way, I keep the emphasis on my back and the weight from my shoulders. You must keep this exercise smooth to get the maximum benefit. Try not to swing or jerk the weight as this will increase the chance of injury. This mental image is to squeeze your shoulder blades together. As the top of the contraction, do four sets of eight reps and you should feel that lats burn. Next in my routine is a great lat isolation exercise, the lat pull down. I prefer to pull the bar down in front rather than behind my neck, as I use this primarily for a front lat development. I use a medium grip on the bar and pull it just under my chest, again trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Be sure to get a complete and thorough stretch at the top of this movement before smoothly bringing the bar down for another lat shredding contraction. Four sets of eight reps and spread those wings. Your back is one of the biggest muscle groups of your entire body, so you can't let it off easy. I like to finish off with a punishing superset. The first set is a T-bar rose. And yeah, you're right, it's a lot like bent over rows, except your back is angled at a 45 degree angle instead of parallel with the floor. Be sure and keep your back slightly arched and your knees bent to alleviate some of the pressure off your back. This is another great all around back movement. After eight reps, I immediately move on to stiff arm lat pull down. This is a great finishing burnout exercise for the lat. Using the shoulder width grip and keeping your elbows locked, bring that bar all the way down until it touches your thighs. Then slowly bring it above your head using negative resistance and feeling that burn. This is a nice shaping movement for your lat, giving them that full wing-like sweep. With any type of cable exercise, it's easy to get sloppy and swing the weight. But I'll say it one last time, technique is the key. Stay in control. Well, that's it for my back workout for this month. Why don't you try it and see what type of results you receive?